Hello, good day, good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today, Emma? Very, very good. Oh, very good, nice to hear that. Congratulations, everyone. I see that you have been practicing hard in the platform. But we are still missing a couple of people. Todavía faltan un parcito por ahí que no han terminado. Good evening, Do you teacher. remember? Good evening, Walter. How are you today? I feel so good, teacher. So good to be Monday. So good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Nice to hear that. And the rest of you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tired of being practicing in the platform pose. Yeah. <laughs> So I see that most of you finished, which is excellent. Um, but for the ones who hasn't missed, uh, finished, remember that uh, Wednesday by midnight is the deadline that we have in order to complete the platform, all the exercises in the exam. So if you need assistance, you, you know that you can write in the chat, you can write to me if you need something, right? Um, I can check my cell phone from time to time so I can help you. Uh, the important thing is that you finish. Uh, most of you have, but there's a couple that it's still missing. Uh, so for today, I sent over WhatsApp the presentation and it's basically a review of the present continuous because I see that there's some people who are still having some issues or you forget it. You say, oh, the present continuous is very easy. But then in the moment that we are making your exercises, you forgot the verb be or something. And maybe you write it in the correct way, the ing, the spelling and everything but the verb B is missing and it's very common. So don't worry, that, that happens. Eso pasa bien frecuente que se les olvida poner el verbo to be en esta estructura. Uh, so, but today we're going to go over that and practice. So we have that review and then a conversation. And basically we're going to be finishing the section five by uh, today. I don't know if you have a specific topic that you would like for us to review. Have you thought in a specific topic? Um, yo, pero es que no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Pero lo voy a buscar en el cuarto. Okay. Uh, search for it and then let us know. Eh, igual si tienen algo anotado por ahí, búsquenlo y, y, y me dejan saber, ¿verdad? Para irlo preparando. And... El, el de, um, bueno, son varios. Object pronouns, eso de do, does y eso mmm, se me hace bastante complicado. Y bueno, empezando por eso. Object pronouns. Thank you so much, Emma. No había considerado lo de los object pronouns, <laughs> pero hoy lo noto. Y vamos a comenzar con los possessive adjectives y voy a incluir object pronouns for tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. I, uh, I have the presentation ready. Just let me share my screen with you. And here we go. Uh, okay, so basically, this is what we have. Uh, present continuous, this is what I want you to review today. And remember that the present continuous, we use it for things that are happening now, for temporary actions, for things that will change, um, for describing a current action, and we can use signal words such as at the moment, right now, or currently. And not always you have to use those signal words specifically if you are talking about an action in progress. It's not necessary, but you can do it. However, it doesn't hurt if you do it or not. In this, if you are talking about an action to, um, happening at the moment of speaking, you can uh, use it or you can omit signal word and it doesn't hurt. 
So if it is future, yes, you do, you have to. Remember that the present continuous can also be used for the future. Uh, we use it for things that we have uh, made a definite arrangement to do, uh, like planned actions in the future. And we have two examples. The first one is, I am having dinner with a friend tonight. Uh, so as you see, the, it is a plan. And I cannot say I'm having dinner with my friends without asking them, without planning it. So, and, and it has a signal word, tonight, uh, meaning that it was, is using it for future. And as you can see, it's a planned action. And the second example, I am playing football with my team this weekend. This is another planned action. You have to, um, sometimes you have to book a, a soccer field and, and talk with your, esa mascota no me gusta, alguien está cantando el grillo más que están bien calladitos. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> okay, um, now, uh, when we are making an affirmative statement in the first and continuous, it is uh, affirmative. So this is the plus sign here, in meaning that we are going to make an affirmative statement. We have to write the first thing here is the subject. And then a form of the verb being meaning um, is or are depending on the subject, right? After that, we write the main verb plus ing and a complement. Here in this picture, you can see how the formula is followed in this example. They are having dinner. You see the subject? They, verb B, are, verb plus ing, having and then complement, which is dinner. They are having dinner. That is the structure for affirmative statements. Can you give more examples of affirmative statements based on this picture? Teacher, le puedo hacer una pregunta? Yes, Oscar. La verdad es de Desde que yo empecé a aprender inglés, me pregunto por qué siempre le ponen el have cuando hablan de, de, de comer, de desayunar, de almorzar o de, o de comer. No es suficiente solamente con el, con el, el to be. El to be, el, el to be me dijo. No, el have. Porque si van a cenar, es have. Have lunch, uh -huh, como, have dinner. Yes, in that case, you can use have or you can say it. Puede usar it también, que es el verbo específicamente que es comer. Right? Puede usar it. They are eating dinner. Eh, usualmente it es como it. Eh, se lo escribo en el chat. Ah, ok, aquí está. It. It. Entonces ahí podríamos decir they are eating dinner. They no, are. mi pregunta es por qué, por qué utilizan have, teacher. El have es porque ellos eh, le llaman como estoy teniendo mi desayuno. Yo tengo mi desayuno, tengo mi almuerzo, tengo mi cena. Ah, verdad. Uh -huh. es, es como, eh, no sé, siento que de repente hasta suena más bonito que decir están comiendo la cena, ¿verdad? So, pero usted puede usar uh -huh. it o puede usar have independientemente, no, no hace ninguna diferencia. Pero ellos usan más el have cuando se trata de, de algún tiempo de comida. Utilizan más el have pero se puede usar it, cualquiera de las dos, pero es más común decir have, como decir, tengo, estoy teniendo mi desayuno, okay. estoy teniendo mi almuerzo. Eh, okay. ok, so, okay. can you make a different statement 
affirmative statement in the present continuous this picture they are smiling they are smiling excellent another sentence they are sharing good moment they are sharing a good moment excellent they yeah, are drink dinner. I don't they know. are drinking drinking wine 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 uh-huh they are drinking wine I am attending class. Okay, you're attending class. Why? Now, for negative, I have here the minus sign, meaning that this is the structure for negative statements. In this case, it's basically the same. The only difference is that we're going to add the word not after the verb be. So we have subject plus verb B plus not plus verb plus ing plus complement. And we have here one example to see. They is the subject. Are is the verb B. Not the word that we add in order to make a negative statement. And then the main verb with ing, verb ing. In this case, we don't have a complement. We could use it, but I didn't write anything. You can say they are not sleeping at this time or they are not sleeping on their beds, etc. Uh, can you make another example using this picture, another example of a negative statement in present continuous? They are not crying. Okay. They are not sighing. Okay, good. They are not crying. They are not crying. Excellent. They, they are jumping. Okay, for affirmative, they are jumping. That would be affirmative. They are not working. They are not working. Excellent job. Now, next, it's the just no questions for just no question in a present continuous. We have, this is the formula or the pattern that we need to follow. First thing is the verb be. After that, we write the subject. Then the main verb plus ing. And then we add a complement if necessary. And finally, we write the question mark only at the end, remember. One example, I have this example because I want to point out that when we have a two words verbs, for example, get up is a two word verb. Tenemos el verbo get up. Es un verbo que se conoce como two word verbs. Es un verbo que se compone de dos palabras. Get up. En este caso, el ing lo ponemos en la primera palabra, que sería get. Entonces, la pregunta nos queda, is he getting up? Is he getting up? For a question, right? Remember first, verb B is. Then subject. Subject. Then verb plus ing, getting up. And in this case, I don't have a complement. Finally, the question mark. Is there any question so far? Yes, teacher. Sí, gracias. Me aflige que me cante el grillo. <risa> <risa> Gran silencio y solo el grillo. ¿Y ahora de quién es la mascota? No he podido. <risa> no, no, ni yo no identifico. <risa> de Pepe el grillo. <risa> yeah, hoy nos acompaña Pepe. Ok, Esmel, what is your question? No, es de mi mascota, les quiero decir. <risa> oh, nice. <risa> Que los lujos que se da Osmel cambia de mascota <laughs> cada clase. <laughs> okay, is there any question so far? No question, teacher. <laughs> okay, no question. No, so, teacher. following this uh, formula, can you make a yes, no question using this word based on that picture?
¿Cómo nos quedaría una yes no question usando lo que ven en pantalla? Usando ese verbo. Is she working? working. Excellent. Oh, wow. Is she working? Excellent. That's the question. Is she working? Is she cooking? Ajá, uh -huh. and the answer, en este caso decimos, is she working? La respuesta sería no. No, no she's not. No, she is not. O no, she isn't. Remember, en esta estructura contestamos igual con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Yes, she is. O no, she isn't. En este caso, no, she isn't. Uh, no, yeah. she isn't. She is cooking. Right. Let's move. Next. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. In this case, we can use the auxiliary, auxiliary do for question. If it would auxiliary. Be, si fuera el presente simple, usamos el auxiliar. Mm -hmm. No, but present. in this case, uh, using uh, ENG. No, in this case, no. Mm -mm. Uh, como auxiliar, no. No utilizamos auxiliares en el present continuous. Ok. Thank Lo you. podemos utilizar, pero como verbo. Pero siempre vamos a empezar, si es una yes, no question, vamos a empezar siempre con el verbo to be. Y si el verbo que vamos a usar es do, sería doing. Uh, por Doing. ejemplo, si quiero saber, ¿está ella haciendo su tarea? Is she doing her homework? But in the, it is a, a, as a lay, as a verb. Está funcionando como verbo. Uh -huh. okay. Pero si auxiliar, do o does, no se utiliza en este tiempo que es present continuous. Uh -huh. No sé thank si you. le expliqué bien, Adam. O... Yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay, perfect. Um, is there any other question before we move on? Teacher. Yes. Yo solo tengo una pregunta que es, no se llama confundida. Es con el going to. Va para decir que yo estoy yendo a un lugar, ¿cómo sería la estructura de la oración? Um, oración. Ajá, una oración. I am going to. Por ejemplo, si ahorita yo estoy dirigiéndome al supermercado, yo diría, mm -hmm. I am going to the supermarket. Ok, y si yo voy a ir mañana, ¿cómo sería la estructura? I can say I am going to the supermarket tomorrow. Siempre es la misma. Siempre te voy a ir el sujeto y el, sí. el B. Ajá. Lo único que les decía, verdad, que si lo voy a hacer en este momento, no necesito usar una, una time expression. No necesito una expresión de tiempo. Porque se comprende que es algo que está sucediendo en el momento. Si yo ahorita voy en camino y usted me pregunta, ¿dónde va? Yo digo, I'm going to the supermarket. Es algo que está pasando ahorita. O de repente ya me alisto, voy para el supermercado y le pregunto, eh, I'm going to the supermarket. Would you like uh, for me to bring you something? Eh, voy al super, ¿quieres que te traiga algo? Eh, ahorita en este momento voy. I'm going to the supermarket. Pero si es una acción que voy a realizar mañana, puedo usar la misma estructura, pero necesito ponerle una expresión de tiempo para que se comprenda que es algo que va a suceder a futuro. Eh, podría decirle mañana en la tarde, I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow in the afternoon. Ok. Ok. Give me your credit card. And then, any other question? Me voy a pagar el grillo. <laughs> Thank you. Ese sí me abate. <laughs> Trato de que no estén aburridos porque yo sé que pues sí, una clase de noche, tan noche al final del día, cansado y todo. <laughs> y ese grillo, ay, no. Ok, so, 
question. Just no question using the verb laugh. Ese se pronuncia como que fuera con F al final, laugh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo nos quedaría una yes, no question aquí? Usando el verbo laugh. Is she laughing? Is she laughing? Is she laughing? Excellent. Is she laughing? Good question. And um, the word laugh is... Risa. Reírse. Uh -huh. Remember that you say smile. It's, it's like just like the, the gesture. Right? Mm. Smile. Y uh, laugh es reírse, ya carcajada, ¿verdad? Carcajada. Es diferente. Smile, sonreír. Laugh, reír. Ahí está relajo, ya. Ya relajo con ruido y todo. Es grito, es grito. Carcajada, relajo. A carcajada suelta. That is laugh. Uh -huh. Okay, any new? Uh, is she laughing? The answer in this case, yes, she, yes, she is. is. Question, just no question. Use this word and this slide. Are they running? Are they running? Run? running? Are they running? Excellent. Are they running? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Excellent. Jog. Do you know? Are they jogging? Are they jogging? Are they jogging? Yes, they, they are. <clears throat> yes, they are. Yes, they are. So what is the meaning of jog? Trotar. That's exactly correct. Trotar. Are they jogging? Yes, they are. Information questions. In this case, the structure is basically the same. The only difference is that we add a WH word at the beginning. WH word and then the verb B, subject, verb plus ing, and then the complement. And this is the structure that we follow in order to form an information question in this tense. As you can see here, the example, why is she eating a salad? Esta es una information question. Eh, vean cómo se sigue la estructura que les acabo de mencionar. Primero la WH word, en este caso, why, porque esto es lo que quiero saber, el por qué. Why. Verbo be, is. Sujeto, she. Verbo principal con ing, eating. Y complemento. A salad. Finally, question mark. Why is she eating a salad? Y ahí las respuestas pueden variar. No necesariamente va a contestar con ING. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir por qué eh, quiere perder peso. Porque quiere perder peso. Because she wants to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Why is she eating a salad? Because she wants to lose weight. Or because, because she's on a diet. Because she's on a diet. Uh -huh. Because she is on a diet. Because she wants to be slim. Uh -huh. Because she wants to be slim. Mm -hmm. Because she has stomachache in her stomach. Oh, because she has a stomachache. Uh -huh. Y no puede comer cosas pesadas. <laughs> Very good. Now, questions. Teacher, y suena feo cuando usted dice, o cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, why is she eating a salad? Because she is a diet. Ah, uh, because she's in a diet. Yeah. Eso es, eso es informal. El cost. El cost, ¿sí? Yo lo yeah. he oído muchas veces, no feo eso. Uh, yes, o sea, sí, es, es, es informal, eh, pero así hablando normal. Entre amigos es bien común, uh -huh. pero como les digo, en un ambiente serio, laboral y todo, sí no es como... Mm. Conveniente. No. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. 
De hecho, a veces, eh, sí. Hace poco, la semana pasada, le llamaron la atención a alguien porque nos escribió una pregunta, cos. <ríe> nos hicieron el reminder de que el, el, el tenía que ser formal la comunicación. <ríe> ah, ok. Por ese niño que usó el cos. <ríe> ok. What is the meaning of cos? Es como... Because, como pero en forma corta. Ajá, es una uh -huh. manera de, de, de simplificar el because. Uh -huh. Ajá, Cost. Solo le ponen un apóstrofe. Ya. Yeah. Z. C o Z. ¿Alguien okay. hablaba Thank por ahí? You. Es uh, cost. Y yo no lo. Teacher, pero ese cost es. Ese cost es, es hasta sí. en las canciones, es algo. Sí, es. es pero como le digo, pues porque hay canciones <risa> que hablan. Eh, igual, ¿verdad? Informal eh, slangs, eh, informal mm. language, eh, usan lo que les da la gana en las canciones, ¿verdad? Es, es como que me diga el perreo, ¿qué cosa buena dice eso? <risa> <risa> en las canciones sí pueden escuchar de todo, ¿verdad? Pero sí, en, como les repito, se Yo puede pensé que eso... en una canción, en una plática con amigos, eh, eh, pero sí en... en Así en ambiente, en ámbito profesional, no usen eso. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, any other sí, question? Se escucha como que fuéramos un poco araganas, ¿no? Cuando hablamos así. Ajá, sí, <risa> se escucha así y como que está, eh, se, es lo que dijo José, ¿verdad? Es bien cierto, yeah. se es y de hecho yo fui la que recibí esa pregunta y decía, Cos, no sé, cuando vi eso fue como que... Yo respondí todo, pero como no pasan solo por mí las manos, ah. las cosas esas, alguien dijo, por favor, el friendly reminder de la semana. Wow. Use polite language accordingly to. Yeah. Pero sí, se siente así como que no quiere hablar, está haciendo las cosas de mala gana o por salir del paso, que ni siquiera puede escribir formal, ¿verdad? Un because. Entonces sí se siente así como feo ver eso. <risa> Más que todo por lo que les digo en el ambiente laboral de trabajo, es eso. No, don't do it. <risa> y suele confundirse porque existe la palabra cause, cause, como de causa o cause. Cause, uh -huh. ¿Verdad? If sí, it is post, speaking, ajá, uh -huh. si se speaking, yes, it can, it can be confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? Si no hay más preguntas basado en lo que hemos repasado, vamos a hacer un pequeño test. No es evaluado, solo un ejercicio, so don't worry. Uh, In this case, we are going to complete this exercise in your notebook. So you can have it, um, the answer, just write the number and then the, the word that best complete in this, in this part when you see the three dots. Donde ven esos puntitos es que falta algo. El complemento podría ser A, B o C. Uh, la opción que better suits, for example, number one, I'm watching TV and my brother a book. Reading a book. And my brother reading a book or is reading He's a book? Reading. He's, He's reading. reading. He's reading. He's reading a book. Ajá, nos falta el B más verbo principal con ING. Entonces sería number one, B. B. Uh -huh. Entonces usted escribe number one, B. Y así les voy a dar tiempo para que vayan leyendo las demás y vayan escribiendo las respuestas en su cuaderno y luego chequeamos.
teacher, this test is easy because only one letter. Apague mi ventilador industrial. Yeah, you say. <laughs> it's easy, right? So uh, let's see, number two. Who wants to answer number two, volunteer? Thomas and Patrick are playing outside in the yard now. Excellent, that is the answer. Number three, volunteer. Uh, I, yo, teacher. Uh, yeah, Alejandro. No sé si estoy equivocado, pero sería, what, what do you do? Um, Let's see. Mm, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ajá, uh -huh. that is. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Ajá, because it's continuous and el continuous sería con el are you. ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. A good try. Um, let's continue with number four. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. They aren't eating their dinner right now because their food is too hot. That is the correct answer. Thank you so much. Uh, number five. Are you studying English now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. That's the answer. Number six. Volunteer for number six. What are you doing? I am talking a test. Okay, excellent. Number seven. I can talk to you right now. Because I am study. Excellent. That's the answer. Number eight. He usually goes for a walk at this time, but he isn't going for a walk now. Excellent. That's the answer. Number nine. <coughs> teacher, it's very noisy upstairs. What are they doing? That is the answer. Thank you so much. Number 10. Mr. Chair. All right. Are they working now? No, they aren't. Excellent. That's the answer. Let's continue with number 11. Mr. Chair. Okay. Okay. I I know I not making dinner because we order is a thing minutes out. ago. Okay, excellent. That is the answer. I'm not making dinner, so uh, twelve. Yeah, um um uh, is she sleeping right now? Yes, he is. Excellent, that's the answer. Number 13. Me. Four. Yes, thank you. Uh, what is the cat doing over there by the chair? Excellent, that's the answer. Thank you. 14. Me teacher, why are we waiting? Who we... Um, who we no who are we waiting for? Excellent. Who are we waiting for? That's the answer. Uh, let's continue. 15. Me, teacher. Okay. Me. Who is driving the car? Excellent. David is driving the car. That's the answer. Thank you so much. 16. Uh, volunteer for 16. Is your friend down? No, he isn't. Okay, that's the answer. Thank you so much. And if you're not sure if you got the correct answers, they are shown here. Okay, we have the 
correct answers in this little chart. You see number 1B, number 2A, 3A, 4C, 5B, 6A, 7C, 8C, 9A, 10A, 11A, 12B, 13A, 14B, 15C, and 16C. Those were the answers. Okay, so before moving on, I'm going to check attendance, but let me get out of this and get ready with the uh, document. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is easy or you want to practice more on this topic? It's easy, teacher. It's easy, right? It's just a matter of practice. Y como vieron en el ejercicio y lo mismo que, que preguntaba Adam, ¿verdad? No se puede usar, si estamos hablando en continuous, no usamos auxiliar to or does for that tense. Because it's like mixing as mixing tenses. Oh, okay, just today more. Solo son dos días más y terminamos. Y ya mandaron los papeles? Yes, teacher. Yes, today. teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Only the platform, right? Todavía tenía unos pocos que no estaban con la plataforma listos todavía. But I hope that you finish by Wednesday midnight for latest. Hasta el enlace para la reunión enviaron ya. Oh, really? For the next module? No. 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 Todavía no lo han enviado. Eso fue algo que reenvió Walter para que yeah. eh, tomara el link de la clase, ya. Yeah. No, a ah. mí me lo envió, a mí me lo envió inglés corporativo. Sí, lo que pasa es que a veces en cuando se como de primero, no. así separado, o sea, cuando no, no, no. se mandan rápido los papeles, le contestan rápido. Ok. Ok. That's... ¿Y cuándo va a ser, Oscar? El jueves. Oh, okay. Ay, pero es como para, para las personas que entran para la videollamada ajá, Ay, hay que dormir el jueves para la videollamada Oscar <risa> hay que dormir el jueves temprano <risa> ok let's see, Alejandro Ernesto present okay. Ana Trinidad present Andrea Estefanía present Okay, Carlos Armando. Present. Claudia Stephanie. Present. Dinora Estela. Present. Dios Tito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Present teacher. Edwin Fabricio. Present. Emily Yamilet. Emily Yamilet. Creo que no está. Emma Tatiana. Ahí Present. está. Fátima del Rosario. Present teacher. Irving del Cid. Present. ¿Qué me falta? Joana Celina. I am here, teacher. Josué Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay, Caterina Abigail. Caterina Abigail. María Catalina. Present. Milton Adán. Present. Norma Evelyn. Present teacher. Okeli de Jesús. Present teacher. Oscar David. Present teacher. Osmel Antonio. No, I'm here teacher. Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Reina Guadalupe. Perdón, Rosa Guadalupe. <laughs> Yo le cambié el nombre. Rosa Guadalupe. 
No aparece. ¿Será ahí, Beatriz? Present, teacher. Walter Rafael. Present. And Jasmine Stephanie. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Well, we're going to move with the conversation that we have. We still have two videos left for the platform and then we're done with this. So we have this conversation and if you can see my screen, can you yeah. see that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we're going to listen to the conversation and after that, we're going to practice. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Quiero disculparme si tenían razón. En el grupo lo enviaron, yo estaba equivocado. Juraba que era el jueves. Sí, porque a, a mi, con mi nombre lo mandaron. Disculpen, yo estaba medio dormido cuando lo leí. Ya estaba envidioso, Oscar. No lo sé. <risa> <risa> el próximo curso. <risa> Teacher, en vez de decir how many brother and sister do you have, could be how many siblings siblings do you have are you mute teacher okay sorry uh, yes uh, yes you can say how many siblings do you have uh, okay. that word it means uh, it's, it's for brother and sisters uh, okay. i va combinado right uh -huh. mm -hmm. Teacher, pero cuando se usa así como dice Walter, porque yo he escuchado también, pero siempre he entrado en esa duda. Like siblings es, es más rápido y ahí incluye ambos géneros, siblings. Pero si lo quiere dividir por género sería hermanos y hermanas. No. Y es como más largo. How many can brothers you, and sisters? Perdón, teacher, ¿cómo es la palabra? Siblings. Write in a chat, please. Escribe. Por... Yes, of course. Of course, I'm writing it. Siblings. Siblings. Mm -hmm. Siblings. Yes, Siblings. Yeah, like that. Siblings. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Siblings. Eh, y esa se refiere a ambos. Thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, para ambos géneros, ¿verdad? Ahí van incluidos. Y es como, ya se hace más fácil decir siblings que decir brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Ok. Alguien dice que se le fue la señal. Ok. Uh, is there any other question? Okay, uh, no more questions. We can go ahead and practice. Uh, there are some words that maybe uh, like nowadays. Esta cuesta un poquito a veces, but don't worry, it's nowadays. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Nowadays. 
Ajá, es como oh, decir yeah. ahora en día, hoy en día. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the yeah. pronunciation is quite simple, but nowadays. Okay, so if there are no more questions, I'm going to create the breakout rooms so that you can practice with your classmates this conversation. One second. Okay, let us join the rooms. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Ahora los otros dos. Okay. Hello, brothers and sisters. Empiezo yo. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, maybe? Actually, I am only a child. Really? Yeah, most families in China house. Only one child now, nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Well, it's a typical in Peru. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Okay, so now we can practice together. Let's repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers and sisters ah. do you have, Meili? Can you repeat of you? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How, how many, many brothers brother and sisters sister do you have, have Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, Actually, I am, I am only, only shy. shy. Really? Really? Yeah, much families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, yeah. most families, most families in, in China, China have, have only, only child, child nowadays. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. What about you, Marcus? What about, what about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I come, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have, I have three, brothers. three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, wow. Is, that typical is that typical in Peru? Not really. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families, lot of families are, smaller are smaller these days. These days. These days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. 
But, but big but families big are great because, because you get lots, lots of birthday presents. Okay, now you can practice together one more time. Okay. I am Marcus. How Bye. many brothers and sisters do you have, Mary? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China China have only child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have eight brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots, lots of birthday presents. Okay. Yeah, you did it better. Lo hicieron mucho mejor. Continue practicing. Okay. Ahora van con Osmel. Osmel. Okay. Yes. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Miley? Actually, I am, an only, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, well, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, very good. And let's turn. Una última, les todavía tienen. How many yeah. brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Mark? <laughs> I come from a big family. I, I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A, a lot of families are smaller these days, but big families and great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, excellent. Osmel, ya no. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sorry, compañeros, no sacó antes. Sí, no tengo medias. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can finish here. Voluntarios. You can yes, do some volunteers. Um, yo no sé para qué, pero sí. Okay, Emma, with whom? Para la yo. conversación. Para alguien que se quedó a medias. Yo. Yo. Okay, Osmal and Emma. Okay, I uh, empiezo. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Osmael? Esperame que no tengo la... The conversation. Yeah. How many brothers? Actually, oh. I'm only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. Where are you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. Well, is that, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday, birthday present. Okay, <laughs> come on, Crescito. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Good. Clap. Yeah. Clap. 
Um, we still have chance for more volunteers. Quienes más querían participar? Me. Me. Uh, oh, Kelly and Walter. Okay, perfect. I am Marcus, I am Marcus. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Oh, Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. I am not mainly. Okay, okay. Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. That is good, Walter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, we still have chance for one couple more. Tenemos chance para una pareja más. Eh? Volunteers. Y teacher. Okay, escuché a Reina, creo. Yes, Reina. Yes. And who wants to practice with Reina? Okay. Okay, Jose. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Reina? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. My family in China, China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What's about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Thank you. Okay. Awesome, terrific. Thank you so much, Josué. And thank you so much, Reina. Estuvimos con Reina y Reina, pues felicidades porque ahí va despacito, pero segura aplicando las correcciones. Muy bien, Reina. Thank you, Josué. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is it for today. Entonces, mañana repaso. Vamos a reforzar y a practicar los temas de la sesión que me indicaron. So that's it for today. I hope that you sleep well and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. You too. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.